Hey guys, I wanted to pop on really quick and give you a tip um, for getting ready for the fall. I posted earlier that there is um, kind of a nasty strain of the flu for this fall. They're kind of predicting that, um, anyway, it's not going to be a good one. So um, I just wanted to give you some tips on getting ready for that. And if you pop on, say hi. Hi, Georgina. Um, say hi and um, tell me, let's see, yeah, tell me hi, tell me who's on. So if you're watching the replay though, type hashtag replay, that way I know I missed you. I want to see, um, I want to say hi. So okay, what's in your water and why is that important? Why is it important to figure out what's in your water? So most of us know that um, our water, our tap water is not really great. It has a lot of chemicals in it, it has a lot of toxins in it. Um, and even though we have some amazing filters, like um, my husband and I have the Berkey filter and that's amazing, that's a good one, but it doesn't filter out 100% of everything. So one of the great reasons to put something in your water is because of the chemicals. So we're gonna talk about some essential oils that you can put in there and why they are good to have in your water. So, um, first of all, essential oils are antibacterial, antifungal. Hi, Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're pop on, uh, say hi in the comments. That way I know you're here because sometimes Facebook doesn't show me who's here. So, anyway, what's, uh, what, we're talking about putting essential oils in water, why that's good. Not all essential oils are good in water. Um, there are some that are not good, so if they have an ingredients label, don't put those in your water. If they have a supplement facts label, those are fine to put in your water. Okay, so here are the oils that are great. Wild orange, that's uplifting and calming. It calms anxious thoughts. Um, hi to Sean, good to see you. Hopefully I said your name right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so that's my favorite to put in my water. I also really like grapefruit. It's an appetite suppressant, so if you're trying to lose weight, it's a really good one. It also improves cellulite, so if you're a girl and you're worried about that, that's a good one. Um, I also like putting Digest Zen. It improves digestion, calms heartburn. My husband has such a hard time with heartburn, and this really helps in water. So. Lemon, it alkalizes the body, so if you have trouble digesting, I'm sorry for the sirens. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so lemon alkalizes the body and detoxes the liver, so it's not a massive detox. It's not gonna, you know, make, like, wreak havoc on your body or anything. Super gentle, Tisha Ann, is that right? Sorry if I'm butchering it some more. I apologize. That's a cool name though. Um, okay, so lemon and alkalizing your body. Why that's important is that most of the foods that we eat cause our bodies to produce a lot more acid in our stomach, which causes um, too much acidity, causes a lot of problems like indigestion, inflammation, stuff like that. So the more alkaline we can get our body, the easier it'll be for us to digest food. So lemon does that. It also detoxes the liver from heavy metals. Having a great filter, the liver's a filter for your body, having a good functioning filter is really important too. Okay, so two more. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. I'm butchering your name. Um, Okay, so peppermint is also amazing for immune support and it improves skin health. So immune support, we're talking about the flu coming in earlier and the fact that this flu is gonna be especially um, rough this year. So peppermint in your water is a great way to prevent that. Essential oils are preventative. They don't fix or cure anything. So we wanna use them daily. A little bit every day will help boost your immune system and stay healthy. Lime is also a really good one for boosting your immune system and it also makes you a happy person. So it improves your mood, makes you feel good, makes you feel happy, um, and it prevents really sad feelings. So anyway, those are some of my favorites. I alternate um, depending on which one, you know, 
suits me. So you can alternate and do different ones. You can um, stick with one for a whole week and then change up the flavor. And it's a great way to get your water intake in during the day because I don't like drinking straight water. Mine has to be flavored, but I also don't like all the sugar and the calories that those flavoring agents have. So essential oils is a great way to flavor your water, boost your immune system, boost your mood, and help you have overall great health. So I hope you like these tips. If you enjoyed them, say yes. Um, oh, and I did forget too, only two drops is, that's all you need to flavor your water. So don't go dumping that whole bottle in there. Just one or two drops is plenty. For me, it depends on the oil. Usually I just use one drop. So um, that's all that's needed. If you want some more recipes or if you have a specific question or concern um, about these tips, then hey Cheryl, good to see you. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any specific questions, concerns, message me. Um, if you want more great tips, you feel free to join my group, Online Essential Oil Education, and I will see you guys later. Bye.